All right, this is going to be the first video of whatever videos we record today. Um, this is all the VODs today. It is now the fourth, but these were games played on the third. Uh, and we play here on Oasis. We get this is a win for us, but it's a two to one victory. Uh, compositions, both teams, we just speed forward to when the teams start. Uh, compositions are pretty similar, but they have the. They're running the Junkrat, or we're running the Junkrat, and they're running the Reaper, and we're running a Reinhardt, and they're running an Orisa. And then their tank, com their support comp is a bit different, but I think they might change that soon. We're also going to change the Soldier here to a uh, McCree to match that in just a second. So look at look at this first fight. We go in, point. And we're just kind of, we have speed boost, we have advantage, we get to this point before they do. It's really good for us. This gives a lot more control over the point than they have. We're just throwing tons of damage in with the Junkrat, just throwing mines in, throwing pills in, everything. And their Orisa rotates very quickly around this right side. Um, very quickly, we recognize that. We all turn to that, and we, we, we roll on this Orisa. This Orisa is our new target, which is the right call here. This Orisa is alone, basically, right now. And we can, we can fight her. We get the Reaper as he flanks around in the background. Which is good to clean up by the McCree. There's Arya pushes in. But I think she does. No, she's gonna die here to the Junkrat, probably. Yep. Good kill for the Junkrat. And then after that, we just. We back up. Stay on point. Now we're pushing up. Reinhardt's at half. He's playing more passively. It's a huge mine. Junkrat gets the, uh, the Risa onto point for us. That's our first target. And we burn her down very quickly. And with that, that's basically the fight. Everyone else just gets killed. Fight gets cleaned up. And we go back to point. Uh, there's nothing really to talk about about the ults yet. Because there's no ults charged up. Uh, so we'll have to wait till the next fight before we really look at what ultimates are here and what ultimates should be used. We're just, you know, again, throwing damage in while we can on the side there. Just overall, just making it difficult for them to get to the point. And they're not really even pushing right now. So this is a good this is a good duel to take. As the Junkrat, you're just trying to force the Reaper to stay away, and he uses his Wraith form to get away from that. And we push forward on the tank line. This Brig, she has no bubble now. She used her Shield Bash, and she, she dies. She has no abilities to help her get back out, and she dies to that. Not it's pretty simple. It's just a big misplay by them. And then McCree starts to flank around on this left side here of point, hits the flashbang on Cooper, and he does end up dying, but the Kree is forced to go back, and we still do win the fight. Now we're pulling the Junk Tire as the Reaper comes to high ground. And it gets the... It gets the Orisa basically low. Um, it's unlucky that the positioning here. Uh, in theory, you could probably stand further back or hide, especially uh, if we were gonna put the tire there and you knew they were above, you could go from in here. This would be a good spot to set up as junk rat down here on the staircase. And then you can climb up the wall up here and still do around the same side. Would put you a little bit less risk of the Reaper. You'd be closer to your team, whereas being on the flank here kind of puts you down. So at this point, uh, red team is down, down both their DPS uh, but the fight is still won. The, white, the fight is won going in. So we're just waiting for respawns to return. The Reaper's up above. He's just kind of poking from high ground. I don't think he even plans on dropping yet. Yeah, he drops now. Wraith form. There's no bubble. Zarya just used her projected bubble. So the next 10 seconds, they have no bubble. Reaper comes in in this flank. Zarya and McCree both turn around to... Can control this flank. This is really good. Stun here, and he's gonna die. That's really good. Let's we'll play here. We lose our lose our Moira. Lose a Moira. Where do we lose our Moira? Where do we lose our Moira? All right. We need to see how that happens. Cause that's not good.
All right, then. It's not that big a deal in this case, actually. I, it sounded like it was way further over to the side over here. The only problem really here is that as all the team went in to this cubby, you were stuck out behind. You were the last person in, uh, which was because you, you wrapped around... You wrapped around the circle. You went around this side instead of staying back here behind the team, which didn't really give you too much advantage in just dealing damage here and ultimately ended up with you dying. But this still looks like a pretty good fight for us. I think we still have we still have numbers on them, and McCree is now on the flank, completely uncontested. If the auto turns around, he backs up. Playing a point, we still have Lucio for heals. We still have, still have Reinhardt. We still have McCree. Zarya comes around on the left side of us. On our Kree. Lucio turns around to come back and help him. That's really good right there. Uh, the Reinhardt's backing up. Zarya's coming back. We're all in the Zarya now. They're coming in with Rally. Alright, let's pause here. Let's look at ultimate usage. Alright, so they come in. They come in with Rally and Nano Boost on the Zarya. So now they have a Zarya who has Grav now. They're using Rally at the same time. We respond by grabbing them, holding the rally or holding the brig in place, and we beat the, with the Lucio beat, which keeps the Reinhardt alive here. And we pop. Well, who pops Hainun? That's their room McCree. Their McCree pops Hainun from high ground. So this high ground McCree probably it's very hard to contest that, and the Reinhardt gets burned down through the beat. We lose our Lucio to the the high ground, the high high noon. And at this point, they've pretty much won the fight. It's kind of just uh, group up and get out if you can. So that fight just goes like that. We regroup. All right. This did work, but I don't really think this is a good idea. This is very easily get punished, and the Reaper is chasing. So we'll have to see how this goes, but... Overall, I'm not a big fan of this idea, the solo Moira going to take out a team. You do have Fade, you do get back, you get your team, goes pretty much unpunished, but it is, isn't the best idea. We also have the Jungred who's completely circled around the point and is pushing people around, keeping attention drawn all over the place. That's pretty good. We go in, go on the, uh, Reinhardt gets slept, but we go in on the Orisa as our target right now. Uh, Brigitte uses Bash. Zarya is dead. At this point, we're not really blocking that much damage, especially from the Orisa, because Orisa doesn't do that much damage, even if she's shooting you in the head, and you've got full health as Reinhardt. There's no reason not to just put your shield down because you walk faster and run towards her with your hammer. Um, especially now that she's dead, now that it's the Zarya and the Ana, if you have full health, there's no reason not to just start swinging here. These are people that will die pretty quickly if you start swinging your hammer at them. And you do. You, oh, no, you do hold your shield up more. They grab here. Pretty useless use of grab though. They we ultimately kill her. We also end up using coal. We use coalescence to win that fight, um, which is actually pretty good. We won that fight basically just off of coalescence. Right, that was just a misplay by them and a couple picks. It's the end of this fight. End of this fight, we go in with Moira chasing the Kree, getting the Kree, and then luckily getting back to the team. As the McCree, as the Junkrat's back on the other side, and then fight goes as normal. We use Coalescence. They use Grav. And that's it, we win the fight. We win the fight off basically just a just a coalescence. Coalescence and just killing them in the neutral. Which is pretty good. And McCree also pushes forward, and he should get punished for that. Which he does. And looks like they're out of time. They're not even gonna have time to touch. That's first point. Alright then. Where is second point on this map? It's up here, isn't it? I don't actually remember where the other points are on this one. I know that's one of the points over there. It's probably that one over there then. I don't know.
It's not really important right now. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We're going into the second point. We keep our same composition. Looks like they want to play something else. Uh, let's see if they least spawn with that, though. Yep. Yeah, okay, so they do. So they keep the they keep they go to Sigma instead of the Orisa. They now have a Doomfist, and they have a Junkrat as well. And they're running the heels of Lucio Brig, which is Lucio Brig is pretty good. As far as a lot of the pro players go, it's the best utility support you can have, but it is quite difficult to play with that because you just don't have as much sustain but in theory if you could you'd want to play uh, Brigida and uh, Lucio but for most uses something like a Moira is much better than the Brig in this kind of meta right, this is how they roll out they play pretty much together with the exception of the Doomfist except here on the opposite side trying to get some extra damage in we go down main just trying to do some damage Doomfist dives in on us, hits our Kree, does a ton of damage, surprisingly doesn't kill him there, and we all, we start turning around to deal with this Doomfist. Yeah, we lose our McCree, unfortunately, and then our Lucio. And then we, we just get burned down. They, they win this fight basically off of the, the Doomfist Disruption. We kind of split. Our Moira's behind us. And focusing on the Kree. Keeping the Kree alive. And the Reinhardt gets separated from the rest of his team basically. So this first one. Just back up, regroup. Be more conscious of the Doomfist. Is the, the main thing that happened there. The Doomfist was the disruption that caused the team to kind of scramble. So we push again. They're holding really far forward here, and they probably will get punished for this. They'll either have to use abilities to get out, or someone will die. So there it is, and that launch with the mine. Really good uses of the mines in this map from the Junkrat. Um, then kills the Zarya, basically, and that kind of opens it all up. We should just be running down main after that. Doomfist. Use all of his abilities to get away. Reinhardt, you just go through, just walk through the shield, and just keep pressuring. Getting Sigma low. Sigma should pretty much die here. What's this Doomfist? Doomfist and the McCree are dueling. McCree hits the stun. Doomfist just half on the point now. He dies pretty quickly. Go up. And then that's a that's a, just a good cleanup. Good cleanup by the team. On point, forcing them back. So this point, because they have staggered, because they have pretty bad spawns because of how many of them died and the time they died um there's nothing really wrong here pushing the zarya the zarya can die right now so there's not really much point to just kind of standing on point right now we're just kind of you know mucking about on point but we can kind of just be getting free damage in which is free ultimate charge for us we get even if we don't kill the zarya just doing a lot of damage to the zarya can get us our graviton faster can get us our uh, reinhardt ult faster and get us our beat faster so we can have more ultimates for the next fight Talking about the ultimates, though, current ults we have is we have Graviton, we have Moira ult, we have Tire. We're halfway to Shatter, we're halfway to Noon, we're halfway to Beat. If we look at the ultimates they have, they're halfway to uh, Meteor Strike, they're halfway to uh, Gravitic Flux, they have Beat, they're three quarters of the way to Grav, they're pretty close to having Rally, and they have Tire. So overall, it's somewhat equal. They are a little bit ahead, but it's somewhat equal. So we're still this down, and we're just kind of, we're just kind of holding the main choke right now. And they're kind of just standing there, taking damage at the front choke. Really like this position from the junk rat. You're just kind of standing. <laughs> you can't even see them. You're just throwing pills from across the map at them, just completely denying them to go through this main choke. Doomfist kind of dives in from the backside, and feeds his brains out because of that. The brig comes in. The call is made to use the Graviton Surge and the Rip Tire. We do that. This is a much better positioning for the Rip Tire. You're in a spot where it would take them quite a while to get to you here. Uh, if any of them were aware of you being here. And there's not really much reason for them to come all the way over this way. Right now they're playing on the choke. They're all Grav. And it won't be like on the, the previous map where the Reaper was flanking in that direction and killed you on his way through. So we, hit the, we hit the Grav. They use a beat. 
keep themselves alive in the grav. And the huge tire. Still gets still gets everyone but the tanks, who were saved by the beat. And we push forward. Push forward. Just trying to do as much damage as possible. Trying to get as close back to, especially the, the ults we just used, like the grab. Which, you know, at the end of this fight with just the Zarya alone, we're already, you know, a quarter of the way to the grab. And the Junkrat gets away. So, we're getting a ton of value out of pushing forward here. And then, you know, once they're starting to regroup, we back up. And that's, that's well played there. We're just kind of holding forward, just kind of getting... Just a bit of poke damage in. So in this next push, we're just checking, making sure they're not coming in through the flank. They're kind of just standing there. This is kind of a misplay by them as well. They're kind of just standing here, not really doing much. Their Junkrat is set up here. Looks like he's probably planning on using a tire. They might even try and grab grab tire combo. I think that's what they do here. They're going to grab tire combo is their, their ultimates, but they also have rally and they're pretty close to grab it at Flux. So we see how we play this, play forward on the uh, on the Zarya. We get our Lucio stuck in the beat. We got Lucio stuck in the grav. We beat immediately. That's how you should play that there. Tire's coming through. Probably gonna get pretty low value out of this tire. He's probably gonna wait out some of the beat. He even kills kills the Reinhardt and the Lucio still. Um, I, it's kind of just unlucky that we weren't we weren't prepared for that. We weren't prepared for the tire. Uh, the beat was perfectly fine. That was a good way to use it. He's gonna he waited it out and got more value out of his tire though. You could have waited, but overall we didn't we weren't paying attention to ults, we didn't know what they were gonna do. We didn't hear the tire until after we had popped the beat, so that's perfectly fine. So now we're just they they, they have advantage on the point, they're kinda cleaning up. So we die on point. We regroup. Going into this next fight. Uh, ultimates we have. Oh, we lost Shatter as well in that. I think that was... Shatter got stunned by the Rip Tire killing him. Which is unfortunate we lose... Uh, fortunately we lose Earth Shatter. But, doesn't matter. We have plenty of ults. Uh, looking at the ults still. We still we have High Noon now. Uh, and we're almost to grab again. We're pretty close to Coalescence. And that generates pretty quickly anyways. And we have Halfway to Tire. As far as their ultimates go, they use pretty much everything they have there. The closest thing they have is... Moira ult, and then they have Moira ult and McCree ult, and then they have Gravitic Flux still. We get back, we heal up. And we push forward here again. Playing really aggressive on this solo Zarya who really doesn't have her main tank with her. And just just making her push back. She's just taking damage, which is just feeding us to our ultimate. Look how fast the the ultimates are charging up for all of us. We're already now almost to grab. Almost to Coalescence. She's almost 10% off of that, that push alone there. Just because the Zarya was standing too far forward. So this, this I remember the calls in this. Uh, there was a Kree on the right side, so our Kree was on the right side dealing with their Kree. And a couple of us rotate to help our Kree back up as their team helps their Kree. Which this is the, this is the right thing to do. It pressures their Kree, it hurts their line, and makes them have to kind of split up to fight it. But we do split up to fight it as well. As well. So then we push for. There's no more barrier left for the uh, for the Sigma. We lose our Reinhardt to a Brig Bash. Uh, Lucio's very low. We lose our Lucio. We lose our Moira as well uh, to just Junkrat spam, which is unfortunate. And we just kind of continue to. They, they continue to clean up the fight. Which is okay for us, because now going into that, we we used Moira ult, but we did gain. We have Graviton Surge now. And going into this fight, they now have Moira ult. They're pretty close to High Noon. And they're halfway to, they're more than halfway to all their ultimates at this point now, which is a pretty good fight for them. Oh, and then this was where the uh, the Creole bugged out, which is fine. It's not really an ult we were going to use to combo anyways, unless you set up on high ground and they already have no abilities. There's not too much value to get out of the Creole there. It's unfortunate, but things happen, kind of thing. So we. Are kind of playing in here we have another you know five seconds touch point we use our rip tire this is coordinated again this was a rip tire into uh graviton surge graviton surge catches the sigma and he dies to it oh well we rip apart their 
Brigida, we play her. We're playing Ford, helping our Reinhardt. Exactly what we should be doing here. He's holding shield, backing up. All they've got left on the point is they got the Zarya on the side here, and then they have the Moira and the Junkrat over on the other side. Moira dies to two pills at once. It's pretty crazy. Good work by the Junkrat. The Zarya is low. Zarya dies. And then we they pop their high noon from this high ground here. We don't really have much we can do to block it. We lose everybody. But the Zarya. And the Kree is dead. Which is unfortunate they come onto the point now. They're, they're at 99, we're at 89. Uh, they have two. They have three ultimates, almost a fourth one, and we're about halfway to all the other ults. So this is just poor management of ult economy, and losing a lot of people to the or losing four people to the high noon was kind of the biggest thing, which was really good by him. This big kind of hero play by him that kind of saves him, saves his team this point, even if it doesn't win them the fight. Either. They grab here. They yet again. They grab combo. The tire. Tire goes into the grav, gets three. So now it's just our Reinhardt and our Moira left on point. Oh, and our Junkrat is here. They're drunk and they're Zarya. I'm gonna work together, try and clean up as much as they can. Their Kree comes on, kills the uh, Moira, and then it's just the, just a lonely Reinhardt left on point all by himself. He gets cleaned up. They recap the point, and no one can touch. So we move on to the third point, which is this one with the car. Five, four, three, two, one. Just looking at the team comp they're running, uh, hero-wise, seems pretty standard to what they were running before. This is identical to what they ran before. They kind of just kept what they were running, and we did the same. Running the point, we both run main. We're here. We're here set up before them. We should be pushing more aggro here. The I want to watch that junk ritual again. That was really good. Ready for battle. Four, three, two, one. It's just the junk rats just both setting up on high ground here. This is really good. And Rudy just being the superior junk rat here wins the one v one. Which is really nice by him. Taking control of the high ground for himself. Uh, though he doesn't really have much heals there. So uh, if he does get pressured, his response should be to drop down to point. Which he does. He's he's already dropping down to point. That's exactly how you play it. At this point, now that they're down their Junkrat, there's no reason not to play a little bit more aggro here. Especially when the, they're, they just broke their barrier, and now they don't have the Zarya bubble anymore. So they have very little defensive abilities left. Our Reinhardt's at pretty close to full health. We can just kind of charge up here and just do do some damage can hold shield now that your armor it's really good use of the the health there using the armor independently we just keep our reinhardt healed up their mccree is now up above us flash bangs the reinhardt but he seems to be pretty fine not really shaken by that we lose our barrier and we're still fighting on point they're still down one at this point so we still even though we're, we're backing up and giving space just to kind of stabilize this is perfectly fine we're just getting throwing damage in. They're playing further forward. They throw their Sigma shield past us. And they have no shield again. Spam damage in our Reinhardt gets low. But we start healing him up. He should be fine. This Brig should die for that. And then the Zarya pushes forward. Zarya's all alone now. Zarya should die. She's all by herself here pressuring our Zarya. She uses her personal bubble. She should get pressured now for this. She has nothing else to keep her alive. She gets mined again, thrown up into the sky. Predictable arc. She kind of gets melted. We lose our Junkrat to their Junkrat. Uh, I think it's just Junk Spam, just from the other side of the map. Or no, it was probably com comboed with the uh, McCree. It was a flashbang. Um, which should still be fine for us. They're now down their Zarya, but they have both their DPS back. We're, we're down our Junkrat, but we have both our tanks still. We, they, we get their Junkrat. We move on forward. Their Zarya is pressuring this right side. Our Zarya is moving on the left side. 
just doing a ton of damage. So I'm gonna use this Kree. This Kree has used his flashbang. Zarya uses her bubble again. She should die for this now. She has no protective abilities and her team's basically gone now. So Zarya should be pretty easy to kill and clean up the fight. And that's that's first cap after the brig dies. First cap. So they engage early on this fight with this Moira ultimate. This is early by them, uh, which is why we respond with our Moira ult. Doesn't really matter that much. Um, we could L we could try an LOS that and just play back on the point. Doesn't really matter though, uh, especially if you're just trading the ultimates, uh, especially an ultimate that gets gained so quickly. We have this. Both their DPS are red here flanking, or not this, this is their Zarya. Their Zarya is here with their McCree on the side here, which I don't think we were really aware of until now we see this. Which, you know, we turn around, come and save the junk rat. We all turn around and pressure this. This this is a bit of a... This is probably a bit too much. I don't think we really need the Reinhardt to come all the way around here. Um, especially if the junk rat backed out. If we were, if we had called it aggro and we stayed together as a team and moved this way, especially if we had Lucio boot, boost and we'd all ran in here, we could stuff this Zarya and probably this Kree before they could get back to their teams. Um, but instead we decided we'd rather stay back on point which is also fine. We go back to point then. And just just on that alone, they decide to rotate around through this this right side high this right side stairs. Um, just because because we were there and they were trying to pressure us. So our Reinhardt is now I wanna watch that happen. Because the Reinhardt got left alone here by himself without much support behind him. So you push in, push up the stairs. Reinhardt's doing good here, he backs up. And he goes back to the, the choke point that he wants to hold, which is kind of this main choke, which is perfectly fine here. Especially their Zarya here, their Briggs here, their Moira's here. This is a good place to hold. He gets stunned, but over all this time, we're now very split. We have, we have this big cluster of people back here, and the Reinhardt is way over here. He's trying to hold his shield up here and get value and work on these characters, but there's, there's all this space between us. And on top of that, on top of that, we uh, are still... Yeah, our Junkrat is way up here on the high ground here. He's he's throwing throwing pills down, just spamming people out as their Junkrat comes in to try and do this one, duel. Just we pop a grab for this. Pop a grab for this, which results in the McCree dying and should kill, should kill the Sigma, but we lose our Reinhardt and he uses Shatter as he dies. So we lose Shatter. The Zarya uses Projected Bubble, but that shouldn't be enough to keep the Sigma alive. Free rotates back for that. We rotate back at this point. Free gets really low off that. He gets bubbled though. He should be fine. We get beat. That's really good. That's a really good use of beat. That's that's where we would use beat. That gives us gives us the temper to continue this fight. So they lose their junk rat. We should be playing forward. This Zar this uh Brigida should probably be your target. Um she gets bubbled. We just pop the bubble and just keep going. To get her. They use their grav because we used beat is the right idea there. Um but they're pretty low on point. Bubbles are there to save the team, and we shouldn't lose anybody to this grab. So I get stunned, and melted pretty quickly. She probably dies here. Yeah, she'll die here. Beyond this, I'm just waiting for the rest of the team to roll out. Their Moira, that's a big pick on the Moira. She's just kind of playing aggro and dies to that. We're playing further forward. Just trying to, trying to get some damage in. There's a Kree behind me this whole time, and I didn't see him. That's kind of silly. Alright, then, well, they group up, we back up. And we're just, just yet again, playing Junkrat the way he's meant to be played. Can't see the enemy, but you're hearing damage markers. Just speed up and wait for them to kind of come forward. Now we're at, we're getting pretty close to that threshold. There we go. We're getting close to 85%. Also, the Kree does flank up the high ground, but we, we recognize that issue and we help our Junkrat and he gets back down. Back to safety. McCree has no flash. He backs out. Um, but yeah, a pretty big threshold for kind of winning fights is 85%. Once you hit 85%, because the way that these counter takes up is every second you get a percentage. And at 15 seconds, you can pretty much always group together and get one more fight. So once you pass that 85%, it's really you've entered last fight. So going into this, we're, our, we're now established that this is going to be our last fight. 
that we're going to fight on this point uh, for us to win. Our Reinhardt gets really low. He gets burned down pretty quickly. They use the Gravitic Flux. As far as ultimates go, just on top of that, they're also using Moira ult. They have the Riptire, and they have High Noon, which the McCree is pretty set up to do from high ground right now. Uh, for the, our team, we are halfway to Shadow, we're halfway to Beat, we are three quarters of the way to the Grav, we have Coalescence, we have Tire, and we have High Noon. So we, we're just absolutely destroying them in ult economy. So we, they pop their Tire, we respond with our own Tire. And where is that coming from? It's coming from back here. All right then. This is a pretty good call this early on in the fight. Uh, but we do lose three to their tire. So so they, they get they do get more value out of that tire that they use. How did they end up up there? Alright. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're at 99% now. We kind of just want to... Don't even need to stall. We just need to die and get out. And just regroup one more fight. Going into this last fight, we're going to have quite a few ultimates. We used our Coalescence and we used our Rip Tire there. But we have Graviton. We have High Noon. I think that's our combo we planned up and we have 99% of the point to capture. We lose our Moira to really early junk spam. And I think at this point the call is probably just to back out and just reach. We lose our McCree because he yeah, he's already set up to do the high noon from the high ground. And both the DPS are up there waiting for him. And we're already down at support. So we just back out. So then we regroup. New call is to all of us go high ground. So we all rotate. That's pretty clean right there. We're all together. Uh, one thing I want to check. Yeah, we are on speed boost with the Lucio. So we just get ourselves all up to the... Uh, okay. Okay, this is a bit of a problem here uh, by the Lucio. This is... I don't... Okay, you're going back to get the Kree. Yeah. I understand the idea behind here, but the, I guess you weren't aware of this McCree up here. Uh, overall, we were kind of doing something else with this Kree. Also, his cape is having fun. Uh, we probably should have just ignored that, let the Kree set up from low ground and keep stay with the team. Uh, though, yeah, especially because you have beat. It's kind of important to make sure you stay with the team in that case. But we still, we're still good to set up. We still have our, our Kree is still in position that he wants to be in pretty much. We've knocked everyone else off the high ground. We're just kind of throwing damage in. We go back around. Sorry, drops down. Kills the Kree. And we drop back down on the point. McCree's all set up, and we go for Grav. Hit the Grav, get both the supports on the Grav. Moira fades out of the Grav. High Noon zones them off the point and kills the Sigma. Now they're left with just three left on point. We have five on point. We're on their Moira right now. They have no projected bubble for her. McCree gets the pick on the, uh, the Junkrat. We get the Zarya. And then it's just Moira on point, and then we win. We pop beat. Doesn't really matter. It's one fight, kind of thing. So we just kind of, we kind of held forward, stopping from even touching point. And that's how we won that game.